Russia's opposition and Ukraine may unite against Putin. Ukraine and the liberal Russian opposition share a common enemy. Both want to see an end to President Vladimir Putin's reign and his war against Ukraine. The Washington Post wrote this. It is noted that the Ukrainian reaction to the death of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny, Putin's greatest opponent, has highlighted the depth of the discontent between the two sides. It has also underscored the complexities of achieving lasting reconciliation between the two neighbors, even if Putin were no longer around. Earlier, the Politico said that Russia's opposition and Ukraine find it possible to unite against Putin. Most Russian opposition leaders have sided with Ukraine since the early days of the war, advocating for a free, independent, democratic Ukraine based on its 1991 borders. And it is now time to open a second line of attack from within Russia itself, Politico added. Although there are many differences between Ukrainian society and the Russian opposition, joining forces against a common enemy would be useful in several ways. Of course, we shouldn't expect Putin's regime to ease up on media pressure now. But while the Russian opposition knows what to say, they continually monitor the domestic mood and conducts polls to gauge public anxieties. It lacks the expertise to target mass audiences through the media. Ukraine, however, have media experts who do, and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has particular expertise in this as well, specifically in relation to mass Russian audiences. Ukraine's media battle against Russian propaganda should be given the same importance as the front lines of the conflict. Vast resources aren't required for this. Rather, Putin's information monopoly can be broken by combining media talent with serious effort, particularly as Russian discontent with his policies begin to emerge, such as the protests organized by the wives of soldiers on the front lines. Another area in which joining forces could be of use is sanctions. Ukraine and the Russian opposition thus need to come together to adopt a personal sanctions regime, for example, by offering sanctions relief in exchange for openly condemning Putin and financially backing Ukraine. These incentives don't currently exist, Politico said. Russia prepares for war against Armenia. Kremlin declares that West turned Yerevan into Ukraine. Armenia deserves to live in peace and under no circumstances should it become an object of trade in the hands of unscrupulous Western politicians. Maria Zakharova, the official representative of the Russian Foreign Ministry, said this while commenting on the reproachment between Yerevan and the European Union. She said that they made similar promises to Ukraine and then abandoned it. This country deserves to live in peace and under no circumstances should it become an object of trade in the hands of unscrupulous Western politicians. Russia sincerely wishes peace to Armenia. We wish this state peace, stability and prosperity both from the point of view of love for this country and people and the point of view of pragmatism because the prosperity of the region as a whole depends on it. Unfortunately, the West played with Ukraine, then broke it, threw Kyiv into the corner like a toy without arms and legs, and started looking for a new victim. Let Armenia not be this new victim who is deceived and tempted, she added. Zakharova noted that some Armenian figures see the increased intention of the EU as a solution to the problem. You need to look deeper. It is also characteristic of the white man who shows the mirror and exchanges with it the most valuable things owned by the natives. Unfortunately, several political figures of Armenia do not think that the country has become a tool and entertainment of Western geopolitics. Armen Grigorian, secretary of the Security Council of Armenia, said that Armenia has sent an official letter to Russia regarding the withdrawal of Russian border guards from Zavartnots airport. The government's position is that Armenian border troops should serve at the airport he said. But Press Secretary of Russian President Dmitry Peskov noted that Russia is not aware of any decision by Yerevan regarding the withdrawal of Russian border guards from Zvartnots airport. As for the border guards in Zvartnots, as far as we understand, there has been no decision on this issue. 
No one communicated these decisions to us through official channels. We were in all directions within the framework of the CIS and EU structures at the level of the bilateral relations, he said. It should be recalled that Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan said that the presence of Russian border guards at Zvardnots airport is not regulated by any agreement. After that, the Armenians who staged an action chanted insulting slogans against Russia and demanded that the Russian border guards reject Zvardnots.